I got some big news for you guys today. As I previously mentioned in, <coughs> as I previously mentioned in my uh, free market closing video for GMS, I said I was gonna bring you guys some good shit going down. So you might be wondering, what is this good stuff? And I had mentioned that I was going to be coming to GMS Barra. Well, I'm about to show you right now. Let me go ahead and switch over real quick, and this is where we are at. I am going to be remaking my funding guide, but here's the catch. I'm going to follow it on an entirely new account. I figured this might be a good way to do it instead of just telling you what to do. Why don't I show you what to do in actuality? What is up, guys? This is Kobe here, and welcome to the first episode of what should we call this? Um, and this is some pretty nice pretty music for it too, but what should we go ahead and call this man? I think we'll call it We'll call it uh, Funding Sorry, some generic name funding guide walkthrough nobody does walkthroughs man uh, The closest thing would be am I to max damage series um, So, you know I'd have to, well basically what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be telling you what to do in order to get stronger, and then I'm going to be making, you know, my progress here on this account. Um, so you guys can actually see what it is, and I'll probably try to throw whatever entertainment I can, just so I don't bore the hell you, <laughs> bore you guys out. Uh, but it's just going to be a little simple. I don't have a goal set, I don't know where I should end the series at. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep doing it because, you know, I want to have a lot of fun doing the series. So, I'm really hoping I'll aim, be able to aim for that as well. But, basically what I am going to do, be doing in this episode here is covering the first 100 levels. That's it. <laughs> Just the first 100 levels. Just to get a little introduction in. So, of course, you need to find your main. Now, this isn't a series to tell you what character you should main. It, it, it's not. <laughs> Uh, so don't come here for that. Um, but this will just, you know, be, this will just be the beginning route, you know, whatnot. Uh, so I already have a class in mind, and it's going to be a not a Dark Knight, a Xenon. I for some reason wanted to play a Xenon. I'm not really exactly sure why, and I'm not doing Lotus type. Um, but I'll go ahead and choose the black hair with the, uh, the dark, <laughs> the dark skin. And this is basically where we come off at. Character name? Now, this is gonna take a minute. Um, uh, in honor of my reboot Dark Knight on GMS Guchikis, who I quit because I destroyed my superior galaxy rings, I am coming up with the name Guapicus. This took me about 20 minutes to think of. So without further ado, it is time we begin. Alright, so be- Ah, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Alright, so I believe in GMS, unlike KMS, we do have the option to be able to just completely skip through the tutorial. So that's what we're gonna do. So those are your first 10 levels right there for most of the classes. If not, it's, you know, very, very simple and easy to do with the uh, quest storyline and so on and so forth. If you're an adventurer, just go to Maple Island. By the time you get to Victoria Island, you're level 10. Big whoop. It's really easy. Um, so I believe we are at first job now. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to accept that quest. So as you can see, we have absolutely nothing uh, except for that. I'm not really sure where that's from, but it's from something. Maybe it's from... Okay, that makes sense. Um, and then the other two all stats are from something else, I guess. Maybe the link skill. It's probably the link skill. Um, so... We'll go ahead and equip all of this right now. Mana elixir. We got no money. So we're going to have to be forced to just pick up stuff off the ground. Um, you know, so on and so forth. I also want to say that I will be going through any events that so happen to appear while we're doing the series. So if you do miss an event, it may or may not come back. Most of the time they do. 
uh but you know one of the main things about getting stronger while not really spending money is to be taking advantage of events as much as you possibly can because events are a good income i'm gonna let you know right now they're really good uh so as a xenon what we're gonna do now is assign our stat to luck and we got everything down here first job of course we're gonna have one point here and then we're gonna have to max out flash jump eventually um and then beans flying this probably just go to X or anything like that uh, so as you start off as a level 10 brand new character I don't suggest you do any quests whatsoever no quests at all you go straight to the grind that's exactly how the maple is welcome to maple store you don't really start quests until maybe around level 30 or so so if you have this on your maple guide you can go ahead and do it if you don't it is going to be located in Hennesis and you might have to use like a um, little map or um, let's just read this area down here. Um, whatever class you are, you just have to look up Hennessy's in the world map and see you can get navigation. Uh, kind of like how we have the starting route right there. That's basically what you're trying to do. But since we do have the maple guy for us, we'll just go ahead and go there instantly. And this isn't the place you want to go to. You want to go over to Golems, actually, even with the really, really bad range we currently have. I also have to keep in mind that my, um... What is it? My um, MP is really, really bad. And the fact that I'm actually starting off this game again, having to loot my items, <laughs> is, isn't is good. But, you know, there's a start for everything. And I'm pretty sure this is how most people have felt. Um, So this is Golem Temple. Golems here, they are level 15 mobs. And excuse me while I turn off that sound, because that is annoying. Let me just, yeah, there we go, thank you. <laughs> no more of that. Um, so what is it? So you, like I said, you want to be able to just loot everything you possibly can. I'm not sure if you get a pet from Tots Know How, because Tots Know How is an actual thing. I'm not really familiar with what level you start that, but that is something that I will be going over to the best of my ability. I just know it's a non-KMS feature, and since I am a KMS main, I figured... Um, you know, I'm not really gonna know too much about Tots Know How, but I just know that it's there. So, EXP get at the start. It's kind of gnarly, kind of slow. Just because, you know, you're so weak, you don't really have much. Like I said, that's when you want to loot everything that mobs drop. Spell Chase is included, so I can introduce Star Forcing once you reach level 20. And with Star Forcing, we can kind of boost our character up a little bit. Spell Tracing as well, because we can kind of get those handy dandy stats on our gear. Even if it is slow level gear, that will soon be replaced. I'll just let you know what you want to um, star force and what you don't want to star force. Um, because when we do theme dungeons at level 30, there are there will be items that we will get. Or might be some that we will end up placing. So it takes a little bit to get this first level in, which I just got right now. Um, so as you level up, you do get... Uh, just a tiny bit stronger towards these enemies and killing them will be a little bit faster Unfortunately, I don't want to put my points in any skills right now uh, or Any other skills because I am really really trying to get that um, What is it? I'm really trying to get the flash jump maxed out. That's like the first thing you should do once you have um, a class in its first job skill is Something that's you know mobility based whether it's a flash jump or a teleport or anything like that Max that out first, because it will save your life a lot at earlier levels. It's going to be really good. Alright, so while I was waiting for this moment, we have an elite monster. So, elite monsters, you know, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know what they are. Uh, but for some that don't, these are monsters that appear in the area you're fighting in, which are roughly four times the size of the regular monsters that you fight. And they have a lot of health as well. And whatever elite monster it is, they have a special ability, um, a unique one at that. I'm not really sure what all of the special abilities are under what name, but that's just what to look after. Look out after. Killing an elite monster grants you really good EXP, along with some fairly decent items from it as well. Um, so this one's about halfway dead. I also want to be able to put my points in as well. Pinpoint Savo is another good skill for Xenon just because it's a toggle and it, you're basically just firing a whole bunch of bullets across the map. Uh, so it's a really, really nice skill to have. 
And this Elite Monster's almost dead, maybe with this last skill point. We'll go ahead and get Circuit Surge. This increases our attack by 11, so it's a nice little attack boost that we can have. And that increased my range by quite a bit, so that is a must right there. Um, this one's almost dead. And as you can see, our map clear is actually a lot better now. Okay, so Befuddling is the curse right there. And here we are, level 15. Um... So along with the elite kill, we do get some nice amount of meso and some potions that we not necessarily don't have to use, but can kind of sort of sell as well uh, to NPC shops because they're some pretty nice money. And the amount of spell traces I got from that was four. I actually haven't got a single spell trace from a mob yet, which is actually kind of surprising because uh, I actually figured I'd expect one, but I guess not. Um, so once I hit level 20, you know, spell traces are what you kind of want to hold on to to be able to just score your early gear and then loot whatever mace there is to be able to start for it as well. So I'm about to hit level, uh, I'm about to say 30, level 20 here. And now that we're level 20, we can now use the scroll enhancement system, which is basically spell tracing and star forcing. Um, because I had only killed two elites, I only have eight spell traces. So this is the button right here. And with this, you are able to scroll anything at your own will. Although you do need to have, you know, the right amount of spell traces for it. Um... Because I kind of want to show some nice little Star Forcing gains, we'll see how much this costs for um, any sort of armor. So that's two. So we'll make sure you've been looting gear and whatnot because you might have gotten some pretty decent gear while you've been training. Um, so hold on, let me see if I can equip that. Okay, so you can equip some pretty decent gear if you have been kind of doing the training and whatnot uh, also make sure if they have potentials you can reveal the potential so you can get maybe some okay -ish stats because this uh what was it the overall had one percent dex in a bonus potential put bonus potential on it as well so that's pretty nice um this is also going to be really useful for us still be will eventually be using known as transfer hammer which is that will can use be used at level 40 so once we get to level 40 I can show you guys that, so that way you can save a ton of traces and a, quite a bit of mesa from Star Forcing. And it seems like we unlocked Talk's know-how at level 20 as well, so this is sort of new to me. They're asking me to, uh, well, receive a gift for hearing the explanation. We get a level 20 equipment box, so it's not like we really needed, um, what was it? It's not like we really needed to, you know, loot all that new gear in the first place, so... It would be nice to go ahead ooh, and in a new weapon too, although it's only a level 30, so that's not really too good. Um, but, you know, it's all good. We can go ahead and spell trace our level 10 weapon into that level 30. We can go ahead and transfer hammer it to this one. Uh, well, it's at level 40, so that's not going to work. We have to spell trace this weapon instead. Um, and then, whatever this is, I'm not really familiar with this. I guess you can expand face slots. That's not too bad. Um, well, I can go ahead and just reveal potential on these pieces of gear. Let's see if I get anything good. Ah, this gives one range. This gives one range. This gives no range, but it's untradeable, so I'll do. I'll equip it anyway. Is there any sort of set effect on them? Nah. And this gives negative two range. So I'm not going to equip this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop it. And yeah, and then we keep the weapon until level 30 and go ahead and reveal it anyway. Uh, bad reveal. It's all good though. I guess since I'm out of spell traces right now, I can go ahead and you know, start training some more for some more spell traces. And then I'll eventually show how it's done. Probably at level 30 or so, to be honest with you. Damage improvements are being made. We can one shot these guys. So, you know, it was a kind of a rough start at first. You weren't even doing three digit numbers, and now. We can do numbers in like up the 400s, so it's pretty nice. Um, so here's the deal. You are starting off with being flat out broke and no money. You want to get as much money as you possibly can. Well, before we even reach our first level 100, we're going to be in that poverty era where we're going to have absolutely no goddamn money whatsoever. Not even a mil. So what we got to do with this in order to actually get some money 
and maybe it'll be enough for doing spell tracing here in the future is we gotta take our pieces of gear and we gotta go to the nearest NPC shop that we can find which I believe in GMS there is this uh, Matilda person and we sell off all the gear that we got pretty much everything that dropped so it's gonna be a lot of stuff make sure you don't sell your level 30 weapon for tots that's important that's that's a keeper right there so we're at 41k and also some items that we got from elite monsters because yeah, we don't really need that right now um, so we're now we're at 54k and mixed block you just saw that 58k it's as easy and as simple as that so it's pretty good nothing in setup or cash unfortunately uh, but that's fine that's always fine and we still don't really have any events unlocked until level 33 so with that being sold we can go ahead and go back to golems except we're going to go to the red golems this time so red golems are the strongest of all the golems it's in golem temple 3 and we, we're already consistently killing them well and since we can actually move pretty fast thanks to our mobility skill xenon's mobility is ridiculous um the exe rates here are going to be <laughs> really nice just because of how decent our damage and our movement is. So it's not too hard to get some nice little early game damage to be able to trade at these kind of spots. I mean, it's either that or Xenon is just busted, but I highly doubt that at first job. Like, come on. Um, so it's never too bad. We should be able to hopefully get some spell traces here. I don't think low level mobs drop spell traces. I'm actually being convinced now because I have, got, I have not gotten a single one, only the ones from elite monsters. And I haven't seen a Polo or Frito portal yet as well. Some of y'all might not know what that is. If it spawns, I'll go ahead and, you know, bring this back up and introduce it. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and stay till here. Oh, well, stay here till whenever. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end my training here because I have filled my equip inventory once again. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to town and sell everything. And we seem to have outleveled the Wilms quite a bit. Well, we're level 27. That's three levels away from second job. So what we're going to be doing is going over to um, Alinea, and then we're going to be fighting the Cursed Eyes. And as you can see, my damage has made even a little bit more of an improvement. And we haven't even spell traced or star forced anything yet. I also should level this up for maybe some higher damage as well. 716, already hitting almost 1Ks. And <laughs> it, it kind of feels good just to see kind of the early game progress, right? And we're not even second job yet. Uh, so it'll feel a lot better as we progress through these next 73 levels in this episode. Um, so we are going to go ahead and go over to the NPC again and just completely sell everything. Except for the weapon, of course. Remember to always keep that weapon. And... Uh, why were the Ecos of one Meso? Uh, seems like that's a New Year's event mob. I'm not necessarily sure why that's even there. It's it's whatever though. I'm not gonna bother with it. Um, then we could sell more elite drops, and that puts us at 118k. And that's when we go ahead and go to um Evil Eyes. I only have 17 spell traces, so I want to go ahead and see how much Meso one spell trace is, and how much people are trying to sell them for. Nearly 10k each. I mean, this first one's 9k, but jeez. I didn't expect them to be worth this much on GMS. I mean, I guess it is what it is. You know, different economies and whatnot. So 10k a spell trace, meaning with my amount of funds, I can only buy 12, which is still not enough for my level weapon at level 30, which requires 35, and I'm only halfway there. So, I'm... I'm probably not going to buy spell traces. I'm just going to resort to killing elites more. So anyway, onward to Alinea and to finish up first job. So it will be in the Maple Guide. Just remember that. You'll be teleported to this first map. And you want to go to the map at the very top. All the way up here. And somebody's here, actually. I don't think they're... Legit, because they just left on us. But my map now. Um, so, you know, decent damage. Still pretty much almost one-shotting for the most part. And EXP is a tad bit better. I'm not consistently one-shotting, so that is a bummer. Because, you know, lack of mastery. Uh, but we'll eventually get that up. 
and ooh, gold meso pouches now, so we'll be making a little bit more money here. Not to mention, I believe mobs are starting to drop spell traces for us as well. This is pretty much what we were look. There it is, right there, the portal. Um, at my level, or mm, that's I guess that's fine. Uh, polo portals are basically portals that give you EXP upon killing mobs, and I'm not killing them at all because my 23. All right. KMS player info, uh, after the ARC update, which is GMS's next big major update, these mobs will give much better EXP than whatever the hell this bullshit is right now, and I completely regret coming in here. The portals that you do want to go into, though, is Frito. Frito portals are basically the essential go-to portals for items. So that one is going to be always worth before and after the arc update. I'm, I'm really, really disappointed. In fact, I think I'm just going to let my lives go. Because that, I'm not wasting my time. I'm not even going to bother killing them. That would, I'm sad. But that's what a portal is. Polo portals go get you into, you know, dungeons that give kind of uh, EXP until summertime when it gets massively buffed. Um, and then Frito portals are portals that give you um, some decent EXP and decent items on top of that. So you want to watch out for the Frito portals because those portals are always going to be good. Very fortunate for us, this is our 35th spell trace on the floor. <laughs> we finally got 35 spell traces. I'm so glad these guys started jumping spell traces. I probably would have came here sooner if I knew they did earlier. Um, but, you know, it's all good. I have 146k meso, so that's also pretty nice. Um, my eco inventory is also almost full. I just need to loot a few more things, and on top of that, I am 8% away from level 30, which is second job, so that's always going to be really, really nice to get there. And then, ooh, I'm already 3% away. Um, so, let's see. Alright, so just a whole bunch of level 20 armor and whatnot. And then we have our weapon right here, which we will soon spell trace and star force. Um, 99%, and boom. Double 30. And let's go ahead and loot these as well. <laughs> um, so, it's about time we finally get the first job. So now, we do have the job advanced quest. And before I get into spell tracing... Let me just go ahead and advance. So you want to put in all the AP that you already have, or your skill points, which most classes usually have all the skills maxed out. Some don't, some do. It kind of varies on what you're playing. Um, and now I have to see, um, I think it's this quest here for a second job. Maybe. Press yes to move automatically. Yeah, it's it's gotta be this one. Ooh. I forgot about this place. This is Xenon's home place where they job advance. It's Xenon's second job advancement. Should be pretty fast, if I'm not mistaken. It shouldn't be too bad at all. Go ahead and go through all of this. Boom. Second job. <laughs> as, as easy and as simple as that. So now let me introduce spell tracing and star forcing, a system you will be using from now till <laughs> ever. Um, so we have our level 30 weapon here, right? And with five traces and seven slots, it will cost about 35 total traces. And we're just going to be using 100% attack scrolls. Um, so basically, the these scrolls give more attack but they also have a lower chance of working. So just to be on the safe side, these always work, but only give one attack. These work 70% of the time, but give two attack. This also costs more traces, which I don't have enough to do all seven upgrades of 70%. So I just wanted to do 100% to start off with. So as you can see, every upgrade I get increases its, you know, range increase by 12. So it's not that bad at all. So 12, 7 times, that's about 84. And this isn't even the juicy part. Sp <laughs> oh god, I fucking spit. Uh, star forcing is what gets juicy. And it's not even going to cost that much mesa as well. We should definitely have more than enough with the 147k. Um, and we are at 5 out of 7, so that's 249. And then this will be 6 out of 7. And then this last one, 7 out of 7. 
So now that that's done, basically, we are going to be gaining one attack and two of strength, dex, and luck for every time we succeed star forcing. Most people disable star catching. I, at the beginning, it's pretty good to disable it just because, you know, it's just going to be wasting your time. Um, and you do need to have one slot just because, you know, they want you to have one slot. They expect that you might boom your equip even though you can't really boom it until you get to 12 stars. With the maximum being uh, 15 stars and whatnot. 1 to 5 is really easy because there's checkpoints for every single star. But once you get to 5, the checkpoints only are only at 5 and 10. If you fail at, let's say, 6, you go back down to 5. If you fail at 12, you go back down to 11, you know, so on and so forth. So a total of 423 range. This is exactly what we were, we, what we were looking for. And now we have broke that 1,000 range breach. So that's good. <laughs> now let's go ahead and look at our second job skills. Let's see. Let's see. Um, this is where we have modal shift, which is something in my beginner tab, I believe. Um, yeah, there it is right there. So, we'll do this one. It's like the little whip thing. Um, 164 two times versus 152 times. Right, so this one's already much better. Um, go ahead and replace that. Uh, let's see. Ion thrust. That's the kind of dashing skill. I don't really care about the one right now. If anything, I want mastery. Mastery is key. Plus, it gives two attack per level and increases my mid damage by quite a bit. So, you know, second job introduces mastery you always want to get your mastery maxed out some classes have their mastery at first job it's kind of weird i don't really get it but it is what it is uh so now we can start questing levels 30 to 60 are mainly going to be centered around three different theme dungeons as a newer player um first one will be eleno fairy academy so this will be on this npc right here and this is where you basically begin Remember the map that we went to at level 27? Well, we're basically uh, going back. Ooh, that damage, though. But we're basically going back to it. Uh, yeah, I can't even get to this dude. Um, and talking to Fancy the Cat, which is somewhat of a Alice in Wonderland reference with him smiling so goddamn much. Um, so anyway, once we accept that quest, we go ahead and go over to... Ooh, spell trace. Let me loot that. Ain't nothing go going wrong with <laughs> making sure we pick up 10k worth. Uh, so that's good. So we go in here, and this is where it all begins. Theme Dungeon, Eleanor Fairy Academy. So this theme dungeon, this, this theme dungeon is basically going to be alternating around just a whole bunch of killing and looting around this entire area here. I probably won't leave till like late 30s, maybe even 38 after I defeat the Mole King. And then I can get some pretty juicy items as well. So it will take quite some time to finish. Uh, a little time. It won't take too long. Um, that's how all theme missions usually go. And then after this, we can instantly go straight to Gold Beach. So that's nice. One thing that I forgot to do while I was at Xenon's home place was I forgot to empty out my um, equip inventory. So I just had to do a couple quests to be able to get to that point. And now it's going to be in this little academy here, which, yeah, they're letting me in. So that's good. So let's see how much money I have after this. Fighting evil eyes, monsters at a slightly higher level, even though they're kind of giving me the same exact gear that the red golems did. Uh, so I'm not going to make much profit from selling these. I'm only at 152k now. Uh, how about elite drops? I want to keep these two. I think these are going to be the two main potions that will drop a little later on. And then etc. Go ahead and just sell everything you have here. And 169k. Almost 170. That'll pass. We also have another Tots at level 30. You also really, really want to be able to kind of just have this on, um, what is it? Ooh, we get a puff ram. We get a pet. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. You just gotta do tots every ten levels. How long does the puff ram last? All right, this lasts for about a week. So make sure, make absolute sure that this puff ram 
or you use it or you know as much as you possibly can within the next week after you get it and then you get the level 30 box which gives you all the nice little level 30 gear even though know, you already have that um, so we will go ahead and reveal the potential on all this gear some will be better some will be worse kind of like this one everything else is worse so we're not going to equip them we'll just equip that hat and that's going to be about it and we'll just go ahead and get rid of all the other gear by just NPCing it that's a free 3.8k right there okay um so anyway it is time i continue with these quests why i haven't seen one of these yet i don't know but it's time i go ahead and explain a rune um upon clicking space or wherever your NPC chat button is you have to go through a series of uh, arrow key combinations. And once you do so, you get a 3 minute buff with plus 100% EXP. For people like me who are just starting and don't have, you know, any EXP multipliers at all, it's double the EXP you get from mobs for 3 minutes. So you want to spend the time grinding. And there's also that. And I just popped a rune as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and... Wait, this is a... There's just so much going on. That's an Inferno with Portal. I'll go in one later. I'm on a rune. I can't necessarily explain it too well right now. So, we'll, we'll come back to that. Alright, I had to grind out this rune. Every time I see a rune, I just grind it out. Without even turning in any quests or whatsoever. I did finish this quest a while back, but I, I really like the EXP grinding with the rune on. Uh, but we hit level 33. Meaning we have a whole bunch of events that were just thrown at us. And they're now all at our disposal. I don't know what events are currently going on right now. I don't know what's currently good right now. Uh, just because, you know, I'm coming back. I don't know what the current events are. So, I'll probably have to do a little research on those and go through those later. So now, at level 37, we've already made it to the end of Fairy Academy. That was, that was actually really fast, to be honest with you. Um... So we are going to be fighting the Mole King, aka the weak boss, with probably one of the arguably <laughs> best soundtrack in the game. It makes absolutely no sense how good the soundtrack is for a boss like the Mole King. Look, look how fast this will go. See, just listen to it. This already sounds like something they would use for like a really, really high-end level boss. But it's already halfway done with the character who literally just started its maple journey not too long ago at all. It's about to die. There it goes. That's embarrassing. It really is. I'd love to hear more of this, but it's time to move on. But seriously though, that soundtrack. For a boss like that, that's a bummer. Anyways, it's time to finish off Fairy Academy. That reward. This is what we did this for. This is exactly what we came here for. The wings. Two new items that we can spell trace and star force. Along with the metal in a hundred spell traces and 500,000 mesos. This is what you do theme business for as a new player. This is literally like a gift from God right here. <laughs> Just looking at everything we got, that's absolutely ridiculous. It's really, really nice. So now, oh, we also got this epic potential with a, well, an e pot that has a rare b pot on it as well. So that's kind of funny. And 4% luck from that as well. Okay. So it seems like we lucked out on this. I'm definitely going to be spell chasing and star forcing that. Uh, so let me go ahead and NPC some items. So items are going to be a bit more worth NPCing now. So that's good. Um, and maybe with the 108 spell traces, we can kind of get all of our armor out the way. Uh, everything but the overall. So we have five items, or no, six. So we have a hat, glove, shoe, cape, overall, which I can't equip to 40, and a mask. And some of these will give me all stats, and as a xenon, it's going to work really really well and let me go ahead and put some regular you know ap in here and whatnot and i'm going to be spell tracing and star forcing all of this so you can see my current range right now which is 1.8 and after i finish i'll show you my after range i think we got ourselves at a pretty good point 3k 
That's actually pretty good. All of our stats are around at least plus 100 except for luck which is at 98 which will actually soon bring itself up to 100 here in a minute or so. And there we go, plus 101. So, I'm happy. This is this is these are some good gains, I have to say. Um, that's what I got simply from just star forcing, really. I star force this, 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 this. Uh, hold on. This, 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 and this, which I will equip at level 40. So, without further ado, um, what are these quests actually? I don't. I'm probably not gonna do quests here anymore. Uh, it's time to move on to Gold Beach. So it seems like as um, as a Xenon, you kind of started off in a completely different way. You don't usually talk to the APC for Gold Beach, so we'll just go ahead and use this ticket, and we'll be here. This is the second theme dungeon that you do. You finish it at whatever level you finish it at. I forgot if the accessory at the end of Gold Beach was a face or an eye, but I guess we'll be here to find out. Um, so damage test. Ah, uh, remember when we were hitting like double digit numbers? <laughs> it's nice seeing these kind of gains. Um, and we're already hitting, you know, 5Ks, 4Ks, like it's pretty much nothing. And we're also getting some nice monster collection. Monster collection is something I'll cover in the next episode. Because like once we reach level 100, we're going to be kind of, sort of, you know, creating an income for money. Uh, and we can't do that until then. And now we're about to hit level 40. So at level 40, this is where Transfer Hammer comes in. Now, first, we gotta get the top reward. From, you know, being level 40. So Safety Charm and Respawn Token. So we'll see what gifts we get from this. Ooh, three Safety Charms and three Respawn Tokens. I wonder if they're timed, though. Um, oh, they're permanent. That's cool. Okay, I'm not really sure what, when I'll use these, but that's always still kind of nice. Um, so we open this box, we equip this, so that means we drop this, and then that's when we can start transfer hammering our other items to these items here. So, weapon first, we'll transfer, oh wait, it's a level 50 weapon, I can't do it yet. Okay, so not for the weapon, we'll do it for the armor though, that's nice, um, so hat. We'll use a luck scroll. So we'll end up getting this hat here. You do lose a star though, but on the bright side, you don't necessarily have to um, respell chase it again. So now we do the same thing with the shoe. I'm choosing luck because luck is the best stat for Xenon. And then the glove. Uh, defense. Actually. Hold on. I'm gonna disregard the glove. My glove has five attack on it. That one doesn't, so it's not gonna be worth. It. So we drop. Um, so as for that, now we just go ahead and get the hat to five stars and the shoe to five stars. So then after that, that's basically it. We can tow the weapon once we reach level 50. So after that, it'll, we're going to make some pretty good gains at level 50. But for now, these are kind of the little small minor ones that we'll be making. Uh, better ones will be made later on. Figured this would happen sooner or later. I'm almost done with Gold Beach, by the way. And I have a surprise mission up, which I will cover here soon. But an elite boss is spawned. Now, what are elite bosses, you may ask, if you don't know? Well, when you're in a map and you've killed about 20 elite monsters, an elite boss will spawn. The map has an elite boss or elite monster kill counter, kind of like hidden somewhere. Uh, you can't really see it. You don't know how many elites have been, elite monsters have been killed in the map as the elite boss spawns. So you're just going to have to take a guess. So the elite boss is going to be one of five different bosses. So look, kinda, they kind of look like that. You either be a warrior, a magician, an archer, a thief, or a pirate. This one here is a magician. Um, let me go ahead and equip better HP potions in better MP potions at that to be able to combat this dude. Um, elite bosses, they don't really give much EXP yet. Like I said, arc update kind of changes a few things. They will give a lot more afterwards. 
Uh, but for the most part, let me go ahead and actually buff up first. But for the most part, the items that you can get from elites are kind of somewhat worth. You're able to potentially get clean slate scrolls, innocent scrolls, epic potential scrolls. So if I, you know, get one of those and I'm gonna be fairly happy you can also get cubes from it as well which would want to be master craftsman or marksman cubes um but okay this guy's about to die he's kind of getting killed real fast here so as you kill an elite boss you get two of these boxes and that's what you usually get from them now they last for about 10 minutes so you want to open them as soon as possible now it's very possible that i might get some pretty bad items so ooh, this is actually going to be useful for someone like somebody like me. Um, so let me just go in and try to claim as many items as I can possibly get. Um, maybe even like some. Okay, that was it. Uh, are I getting gear? I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's open them. Chaos scrolls. That's not really worth. So yeah, we kind of just got garbage from that. You occasionally get a lot of garbage from elite bosses. Um, eventually. The time will come around where you will get something valuable, but for now, you're just going to have to deal with what you get. And I know I said I'd cover this another time, and now is that other time. Infernal Den. This spawned when I was in um, Fairy Academy on a rune, so I didn't want to go in. So, what the Infernal Den is, you basically go in and you fight a dog. You're not going to be doing a lot of damage, though. Because he has a whole bunch of defense and lower level characters don't have a whole bunch of defense ignore. I have straight up zero. So my damage is flat out horrible. So that's kind of how that works out. Um, so you go in and deal as much damage to the wolf as you can for 30 seconds. And after that, you have to uh, get kicked out and talk to Polo and you get a certain amount of VXP from it. The XP at lower levels is really, really nice. Maybe I should have gone in even when I was on the rune to begin with, because I just leveled up from that. The reward you get, the item reward, you don't get until the wolf is dead, which means that other players have to go in, deal damage, shoot, and kill it as well. I don't know how long that takes in Barra. <laughs> so it might take a while for you to actually get the rewards. So a light bulb will come on your head once the wolf is dead, and then you can get the reward, and you can open it, and you just get whatever from the package. Now we fight Gold Beach's signature boss, Captain Dark Goo. What a fucking stupid ass name. I mean, it is what it is. Um, hopefully Mans isn't really too strong. Yeah, he, he's pretty weak. Oh yeah, his, H, his health is going down at a pretty good speed. He's almost halfway dead at this point. Um, let's hope he summons some mob because I'd like to get some EXP here. Oh, I think that's it right there. Yup, there we go. Here's some more EXP. And usually when he summons mobs, it indicates that he's about to die. Just like that. And we get a soul shard. Uh, I'll cover soul weapons in like a future episode. Because there's... <laughs> can't really talk about them right now. Anyway, let's go out. And that should be the end of Gold Beach. So we go back here. And we get earrings. So we get a pair of earrings. So we... Pretty sure the face or eye that I was mentioning earlier only does drop from Dark Goo, and he didn't drop it, so bad luck for us. I mean, it doesn't really matter, uh, but at least we got a pair of earrings and 200 spell traces and 1 million meso. <laughs> we finally hit 1 mil. Oh, I gotta make some room. Uh, our equip inventory is full. It's about that time where we actually start kind of dumping it out and... With equips on, you know, the level a level like this, they're gonna be worth quite a bit if you see. We might even make one mil before we even t turn in the quest. What do you know? We did one mil. That's our first one mil right there. So now we'll be at two mil. There we go. And level forty-eight as well, which means you're two levels away from range straight. And this level of course doesn't really matter. I was just checking for the infernal wolf kill. I uh, guess we still haven't got it yet. So, essentially, I'm two levels off from the next theme dungeon, meaning I'm forced to grind to level 50. So I've got to think about a spot. But before I train, I need to show you guys the surprise mission real quick. Now, this one's really, really easy. Use the field tenant portal. Let me show you what it means by that. Plus, I just star force this, so nice little stat boost. I am at almost 4k range. Um, let me go ahead and put the rest of my AP into that. And, um, 
I know exactly what map we can go to to do this. So, a hidden portal in the map is basically that yellow portal that appears right here in the map. And once you press up on it, it teleports you to somewhere else in the map. And Drake's is actually the perfect map for that. Maybe that one could have worked, but I'd rather use it in the hunting area. And somebody's actually training here. Um, so, we'll just go ahead, press up. And that's it. There we go. Now, you, after you finish a sudden mission, you have one minute to claim your reward. And I got 500k from it and 31k EXP. So 500k mace, so that's actually pretty nice for a first sudden mission. So I'm definitely not going to complain about that. That's pretty good. Um, makes us at almost 2.5 mil now since I did use my money on Star Forcing the... Um, what is it? I Star Forced the earring. Well, that's fine. I think I'm going to try and test out Drake's a little bit. We'll just see how effective we are. Um, and hopefully in a map where nobody's botting or anything. Seems like I'll probably run into these guys pretty often because that's kind of what GMS is, unfortunately. I kind of wish I could do something about it, but I probably can't. Mm, maybe I'll train here. Maybe I won't. Actually, I might just go ahead and stick around. My kill rate isn't that bad. What am I doing? Three-shotting? I guess it's tolerable. Plus, the money is... Mesal bags are pretty nice as well, or, you know, not mesal bags, but just, you know, the mesal bills. Um, not too bad. I feel like this would be a good spot to reach level 50. And then once I get off of Reina Strait, I'll probably be, like, level 57 or 58, and I can get to level 60 here as well, and then I'll be ready for third job. We're about to level up here. 99%. 100. Level 50. The map is dark, but I don't really care to keep training the spawn elites i just want to leave this map pretty fast uh there is also transfer hammer now so now that we're level 50 we can finally transfer hammer to a level 50 xenon weapon using the 100 percent attack scroll and that's plus 687 range without you know the fifth star so it's pretty good it's always nice to get a new weapon upgrade and now that we have that, we will go ahead and Star Force 5th Star on it, which actually gives 2 attack instead of the usual 1. And we did get about 140k Meso just from getting those last 2 levels in, so that wasn't too bad. Um, we also have, let's see, 246 bow traces, so that's another 2.46 mil. So we have like a, a cumulative total of 5 mil in Mesos plus items, so it's pretty nice. Um, now we see what we get from level 50. At Tots Know How. So we learned about familiars and teleport rocks. And our gift is a pig familiar and a hyper teleport rock. How long does this hyper teleport rock last? About three days. Okay. So hyper teleport rocks is, you know, those are going to be really useful. So just like the Puff Ram, use it as much as you possibly can. I will go ahead and also. Um, use transfer hammer on these items as well. It'll be for the hat, the hat, the overall, and the, well, I think it was shoe. Yeah, she was the last one. And then I just got to Star Force one more time, and I'll be back with, you know, slightly better stats. Especially considering we did get the weapon transfer, too. So, that's nice. And then after this, we can begin Reign of Straight. So, 4.9k range. We're really, really close to 5k, but unfortunately, we're not necessarily there. Uh, but that's fine. So, Reign of Straight's here, and we can also do Easy Zakum, but I don't want to do Zakum. I want to be level 100 for when I do normal. So that's kind of how we'll end that off. Um, so, you know, this is basically how Raiden of Straight starts. You just got to talk to the light bulb quest. And then you go all the way to the end of Rien. Utilizing the hyper teleport rock, we will not walk there. And we will click on this NPC and we will go to Raiden of Straight. This is a perfect quest to see our damage in action at level 50. 
Five digits. <laughs> We've done it. Five digits at level 50. That's pretty good. Um, wonder how much I'll be hitting at 100. Although, Tots ends at level 60, so that's the problem. Um, I'm probably going to have to rely on just, you know, looting off the ground for decent-ish gear. So, uh, But that's okay, hopefully. I think everything will go fine. So I just got off of using a rune, and um, I completely forgot that there's reset in 18 minutes. Let me go ahead and turn this quest in. But yeah, there's reset in 18 minutes, meaning that I can go to Easy's outcome right now. <laughs> I can just go right now. Um, I believe I just have to go over to El Nath. Oh my god. Great, that... Cock block from using the hyper self of Rockers of Rain and Straight. Give me a minute. Alright, finally I used it. But yeah, here I am at El Nath. In order to go to Easy Zagum, you just have to talk to your instructor. Which I'm probably just gonna go ahead and talk to. Yeah, just a thief one. And Xenon is, for the most part, identified as a thief, even though Tots is giving us pirate gear. Um, but this will be our first actual boss challenge. Hopefully, we do get a Zakum helmet. If not, then we're not gonna try again after reset. Because you want to save that daily run for normal Zakum once you reach level 100. So, I know new players won't really be familiar with what reset is or what it means. Uh, but basically, every 24 hours um, at... I'm pretty sure GMS time is UTC. So, midnight UTC, which is 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Every boss entry you go to, every certain you know monster park, so on and so forth... Um, they completely reset. It's a whole bunch of things that reset at reset time, whether it be events, bosses, dungeons, or, you know, just stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not going to record this entire thing, because this might take a few minutes of just, you know, complete, utter, stupid beatdown. Look how much damage I'm doing. It's, like, actually incredibly low, and it makes no goddamn sense. And there's that. And I didn't even dodge it in time, so I did lose half of my health. So you want to be careful on things like that. Uh, I didn't dodge that either. It's <laughs> Easy Zakum's funny. And it's health just goes down so slow. We'll just fast forward to the kill. Oh man, the boss is starting to have some sort of interactive mechanic to it. These past four minutes, I was just standing in one spot pressing the attack button. I gotta buff up again real quick. I might not be able to make it. I'm not sure if my uh, 50 death count will be able to have me survive long enough to be able to get the rewards that I really deserve from this boss. Oh, sh oh, oh okay, okay. I was I was caught in the web, so I couldn't flash jump, but I got out of it as soon as that spawned. So we're good. Oh, okay, oh web. Ah, we didn't get hit. Nice, nice. I thought we were going to die from that. We chilling, we chilling. And... Dead. Oh, Zakum helmets? That's the, like the main reason I came here for. It's such a good helmet too. Why would they just do me like that? Nah, this entire series is gonna be a whole bunch of unfortunate events. This is horrible. How how dare? Oh my god! I I end up getting a side limiter, and I, yeah, that's real cool. That's real cool. That's that's real funny. Next on, thanks for doing me like that. By the way, we just gotta go back to Nath. I might die going in here, but it is what it is. Ah, I didn't. Okay. Nah, nah I'm not even going back to El Nath. I'm just going to go back to Rain Straight. That's that's some jokes, man. I'm angry. Come on. Alright, so it's been a long while. I did actually have the AFK here for a bit, but I did get my Infernal Wolf bag that I promised I'd show you guys. It's an intermediate one, which is actually not that bad. Uh, so we'll open it. And we get a pot stamp. Now, I hope we can use this within the next week or so, because that's when it expires. Hopefully it'll be good. Rain of Strait is just about coming to a conclusion now. We have to kill the Demolicizer, which is the boss of Rain of Strait, which should be fairly easy. Oh, I have 20 ability points. I wonder how many um, skill points I have. 12. All right, we'll just put it on here. I don't really care for this skill. This skill is... Eh, it's, it's really whatever, honestly. Um, anyway, boss fight now. Let's see how long this lasts. My damage will be on it. Oh. 15 Ks. Okay, so seems a little faster than Dark Goo and the Fairy Academy boss. 
Um, yeah, it's already just about dead. So after I do this, the random straight will be just about done. If I remember correctly, I get end up getting a belt and a face accessory. So that's two different items I can go ahead and spell chase and start for for even more stat. So that's good. Here's the ending here. Oh my gosh, I hate this cutscene. I'm so glad you can skip into GMS. And another one annoying one right there. See, there's so many, or it's so long that you have to skip it three times. Uh, but anyway, oh my god, two mil, three hundred spell traces in the belt in the mask. Yo, this is good. Mm, this is good right here. I'm definitely looking forward to equipping these, but unfortunately, I have to be level sixty. But that's something that I can easily do with drinks. In fact, let me look at my damage on Drake's right now. Sick of wood. Here. Wait, is that? No, 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 no. That's the wrong map. I'm about to say, wait, what? Uh, anyway, here we are. Um, one-shotting. And that's without my buffs. How about with my buffs? One-shotting. Of course. It's that simple. Um, I didn't one-shot that one. But for the most part, it's pretty easy. I could definitely reach level 60 here. Oh yeah, I can really reach level 60 here. Looking forward to it. But first, I gotta start with my new accessories. Okay, we're about to level. 60. Good stuff. Now we can finally reach third job. And I believe it is going to be... Or maybe it's a light bulb quest. Yeah, job advancement. Only the brave. Let's see. So is this just a dialogue, job advancement type quest or something? Um, and I'm probably just lacking equipment slots. Or wait, no, what just happened? Hold on. Oh no, no, this is different. It's the same thing as the resistance. Um, third job advancement, if I'm not mistaken. We have to go to Adele Steen, and then we have to go to Roll to the Mine 1 and pay 100k for a hat. Luckily we have 5 mil. So we're good. So we'll talk to Stefan. Give Stefan money. Alright. There we go. What? Tutorial cutscenes. Ooh. Defeat the Black Wings. Alright. That, that was easy. Um, I'm not sure if that was part of the quest or not, though. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, okay. It was. I got caught. Uh, okay, now what? Um, Road to the Mine, Blackwing's Hat, for Matthias. Blackwing's Hat 1, Blackwing's Hat 2, you're getting caught. And the rewards will be third job advancement. So... So what you're saying is that's it. Maybe? I don't know, this is weird. I went back to base just in case, and I think that's it. There we go. All right, easy. Third job. That was fast. I don't need this. I don't need this. And I can equip these now. Oh, perfect. 6.5k range. Plus, we still have to... Um, we got third job skills real fast. 193%, three attacks versus 240, two attacks. Oh, yeah, this is obviously better. Go to combat switch explosion. Um, Alright, this is going to be a good skill to use. Especially since we also get like another type of shadow partner at third job as well. Manifest projector. Okay, yeah, this is going to be good. And Aegis system. I need to get that as well. Aegis system and pinpoint salvo. How should I go? How should I go about doing this? And we'll just do Aegis system. Because there'll just be another way to get some lasers. Or not lasers, but just projectiles and whatnot. So now we have two of those toggles. And then... We'll just get Pinpoint Savo. Because 9% is kind of a nice boost. And then we'll start leveling up that Shadow Partner a little later on. I believe this is what, 150? Yeah, alright. 10% damage at maxed out. That's not too bad. Um... Let me on toggle pinpoint and toggle it back and test my range. And we go up to 15 all stats now, so it's nearly 7k. So we also have to get, I believe, what will be the final tots as well. Wait, 
Why can't I sell? I can't sell anything. Really? Alright, whatever. Um, I'm going to go to... Wait, what? Sleepy Wood. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm going to go to Sleepy Wood. And then I'm going to sell whatever little whatever piece of gear I have. And then... Um, oh, wait. First... No, not that. Let me transfer hammer. 255. Still nice. Still a nice little boost. We still have to get from level uh, wolf from 4 to 5 stars using uh, Star Force. And then this will give us another fairly nice boost as well. Yeah. So that's like what? Plus 400 to 500 range. Now we're at 7.2k range. So now we can go ahead and NPC everything. And then that still puts us at above 5 mil. And then after that, that's when we can go ahead and do tots. And from this tots, oh, this is a lot. This is where we learned about potential, bonus potential cube, soul weapon, nebulite. So they, they better give me a whole bunch of shit then. If they're going to tell me about all of this. Already done that. Alright, soul weapon. Nebulite. I'm looking forward to the board for this one. Gift. That is a lot. See, Master of All Knowledge, Know How, Chair, Potential Skull, and Production Soul Enchancer. Okay. Uh, 253. Oh, yeah. We're definitely equipping that. Um, and then the level 60 set. Actually gives us a level 60 weapon this time. And we'll just go ahead and tote it. And then we're going to stick with this level 60 gear for a while. Uh, the only thing we'll be switching up on is the weapon. So this will probably be the last time I use Transfer Hammer on the armor weapon. Hopefully I get lucky and monsters I'll grind that will drop stronger weapons and that'll be about it. So from 60 to 100, what you mainly got to do is honestly grind. <laughs> That's basically what their job is. It's literally just, just straight up grinding. And... I'm not necessarily sure how I'm going to go about doing it. I might stay at Drake's for a little bit. As a newer player, you know, since I haven't really gone through this process in such a long time. I'm probably just going to follow the Maple Guide. And then, or you know, stay at Drake's till maybe about 70 and then go to White Fangs and then go to Sahel too. And that's probably how I plan on doing third job. So hopefully that'll work out. We'll see how it all goes. I mean, I'll be on purple as hell. This is badass. Yo, okay, okay. 7.5k range as well. I'll definitely take it. And then with the potential scroll. Um, yeah, we're going to pot nothing. We'll just keep that for now. It's good. And the same thing with the soul enchanter. Um... Oh yeah, we're fine. Uh, so for now, I'm probably just going to chill on Drake till about 70 or so. We'll go ahead and test the damage of our new skill. And, well, okay. I gotta make it fast because this dude's training here. Uh, ooh, a portal. Okay, I'll go ahead and get out of his way right now. If it's a uh, Frito, I'll go in. If it's Polo, I'll CC. Oh, wait, I have to leave the party. Uh, that's a G in this thing. Oh, finally a Frito portal. So I get to show you guys what you get from here. As long as it's... Oh, this is the best one too. The chicken dance. As long as you know are really good at the chicken dance and can clear all 20 of them, then you are good to go. So let me go ahead and concentrate to the best of my ability so I can get two advanced bags and a really nice amount of VXP. I actually did not expect this portal to spawn. I'm so glad it did. That's eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, I gotta concentrate a little bit more. So, yeah, this is definitely the best Frito portal that you can go into. So, I'm really happy I got it. The worst one is probably Dragon Egg. It takes a few seconds because, you know, it's really, really RNG dependent. And then, if you get the uh, bird shooting one, then. It's decent, but it's not as good as Shiggy Dance. So we cleared that with 10 seconds remaining. That was actually kind of slow. Sometimes I usually do it with 20 seconds remaining. But we still cleared. It is what it is. So let me get my reward. Oh, 
I am missing use slots. I just gotta drop a few things here. Ah, 110k EXP. I'm already almost 61. And then with these bags, I will get... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Get 500 spell traces in a Master Craftsman Cube. Now this lasts a week, and we can't use it on anything just yet. So we just gotta save it and make sure we have something to cube within the next week or so. But we got 500 spell traces. That's like 5 mil. That's why those portals are so good. So the only event I actually went ahead and looked into, I know I didn't really finish what I said last time because I was distracted by the portal, but I was just trying to look at my damage a third job, and it's, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, anyway, the um, event that I'm kind of looking at right now is the Lunar New Year 2018. It's telling me to loot a few items here and there, as well as um, getting a 3x EXP coupon. Not 2x, but 3x. It only lasts a day, but that's more than enough for me <laughs> i think it'll be pretty good um we'll go ahead and use it although it doesn't really specify how long the buff is i don't know if it's 15 30 or one hour so we'll go ahead and see right now it's 30 that's fine i could just constantly trade for 30 minutes and get ooh, oh yeah that is a <laughs> a pretty good exp boost so i'm just gonna have to stick to training for the next uh, yeah, half an hour, and we'll just see how far I get. So, our 30 minutes are just about up, and we are level 73. I'm surprised I'm actually still at Drake's at level 73. Um, it was going really fast at first, like, with, um, with the rune, I was getting a level, like, every minute and a half to two minutes. And then it started to slow down a little bit. Uh, but, hey, at least I'm level 73 now. That was probably the fastest leveling session I've had on this character, so... Anyway, we haven't used a single skill point or a single ability point ever since. So we are at 60 ability points. So let me just go ahead and just slap those in. And now we're at 8.3k range. Let me max out uh, Shadow Partner. And now we have that. And Aegis System. Seems like... Uh, I don't know. I don't forgot what the chance was at level 100. But hey, at least it's... A, it's somewhat higher now um let's max up pinpoint salvo so let's go ahead and take those off and then toggle them back on so now we have seven skill points left and i'm probably going to go for we'll do one point in diagonal chase just because it'll be nice for mobility because we already have this the second job skill i just switched its mode it's um like a decent ish up jump and then now we have this here. So that's pretty good vertical mobility. Um, let's see. So for the last six points, what is this? Hybrid defenses. Ability. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using that skill. The passive seems nice, but... I don't really need this yet. I don't really need this that too bad. Uh, it's, I'm not really sure what to do. We'll just go ahead and throw it in hyper defenses. Just for the all stats. That's really all that ma that matters to me. Um, so 8.4k range. And then with a maxed out shadow partner. My damage looks a lot more balanced. And I'm almost over 74 as well. Um, although, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tackle... Um, what is it? tackle desert yet i'm not really sure oh yeah the eight blessing charm i got the <laughs> i got the eight blessing ring from the event and it seems like you're able to use 13 of them so it goes up to 15 all stats with 15 attack unfortunately this ring can't really get a potential on it um because you can't really well can it I mean, it's tier 1, so I'm not even going to bother. So, that's pretty much all that is right there. They, this ring will easily be replaced here soon. Just a nice little placeholder to get by, do a few things. Um, so, I have to thank God that events are here for that. Probably not going to do Wandroid. I don't know when Wandroid even ends. So, eh, you know, it's just a whole bunch going on right now. Not necessarily sure where to begin. Anyway, I guess we can go and start off by heading over to Desert now. 
and kind of see how strong we are, see how much damage you can actually inflict on those mobs. And there is a cursed rune here, stage four. So, all right. So my damage is pretty shit, but that's okay. That's where we all start. Just down four times. Yeah, I feel like this won't be too bad. I am lagging a little bit though. As soon as this lag gets out of the way, then we'll be able to get somewhere. Um, geez, this is pretty bad. And I'm not lagging anymore. My kill rate here is okay. But they gave 1.1k EXP, so that's already far better than Drake's, even with, you know, not being able to kill very fast. So I'm going to exhaust this rune here. And then once I finish that up, I'm going to try and experiment for something different. Not like going anywhere different. I'm just going to look at this event a little bit more. I'm going to try Nian's Revenge. So I went ahead and did the Nian's Revenge mini dungeon. And now I got a new damage skin. That is a Nian damage skin. I never actually seen what it looks like in action. So that's not that bad. That's actually kind of nice. Um... And then I also got another Daily Hong Bell box. I only got one. I don't know if you can get more, but uh, I only ended up getting one. That's okay. I got another 3x buff that lasts for another 30 minutes, so I could do another nice little 30 minute grind session here at Desert of Serenity, hoping I'll get far somewhat. <laughs> I hope I get far, but I shouldn't have to worry too much. Let me go ahead and put some more of my skill points in hybrid defenses and we're about to go to work on these mobs we're gonna see how far we can get within another 30 minutes of grind so after the second 30 minutes of grind I ended up getting to level 86 but unfortunately considering you know the main stat of an average newer player we're not gonna be able to train anywhere else until level 100 <laughs> I would love to go to some Star Force Harpies right now, but they have about 1 million health. And with us doing, how much damage are we doing? I have it to hurry up and buff. Um, oh, not that. I don't want to use that. Um, oh, I messed up. Hold on, let me change that real fast. 20Ks, barely. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be even lower than the Harpies. It's not going to be that worth. These guys have 90k and they give about 1.3k EXP. Harpies give probably like 6k with 1 million health. HP to EXP ratio isn't necessarily the best. So we're going to go ahead and skip out on those. Um, unfortunately, we are going to have to just, you know, haul our asses here until level 100. And now we don't have any more EXP coupons as well. So it's going to be the real struggle from here. Welcome to these 1x rates. No kitchen, no nothing. This is how... Up this is how I was raised on KMS anyway, so, you know, newer players might not be interested in the grind too much, um, but just know, playing Maple Story, it is, there's gonna be a lot of grind, this entire series is gonna have a lot of grind on the Xenon alone, I'm already gonna be trying my hardest to get to level 150 as fast as I possibly can, I know I said you can make some decent income, or not decent, but you can start to make income at level 100, but it gets even better at 150. There's so much more open once you reach 150, it's crazy, but I'll talk about that when I reach 150. But now, we gotta hurry up and get to 100. Finish it off here and right now.
So I'm wondering, <laughs> what are the chances that I'd go to normal Zarkum at level 96? I know it's not review, so the accuracy formula comes to my favor instead. But I'm level 96, and I'm still weak as hell. But we're gonna go ahead and try something. I don't know, <laughs> cause I I know for a fact that if I lose, then you know I lose. I'm weak as hell. There's a rune of destruction though, so that's three minutes of 50% damage. We gotta get some work done fast. <laughs> but I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It's gonna be pretty bad. I have no links, no legion effects, no nothing. I, I said I was gonna end off this first episode with this boss fight. If I win. You know, kill arms within the runes duration. I could reach level 100, I could be fourth job, and then we'll have it at that. <laughs> so we'll see how this grand finale for this episode goes. Um, if I lose, I'll just get to level 100 in a sad manner back at desert because I really don't want to train there anymore. And then that's that. I have my hyper teleport rock, so I can go ahead and teleport over. Oh, wait, what? I got it wrong. <laughs> but anyway, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta hurry. And we gotta go to the map before. So these are gonna be some tough monsters that we gotta dodge and shit. See, they even take us to the beginning of the map just, you know, to mess with us. It's like a big middle finger. Oh, jeez. At least, you know, it's flash jump is crazy good. Um, you gotta be able to survive that. Plus, I didn't think we dropped an item in our extender inventory because it's full. Oh my god, we gotta hurry up. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We got that. Um, normal Zakum. Just go in and drop it. We have no outside buffs of any sort or anything. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. But I feel like in the end it's gonna be worth it. Just don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. That's all. That's all. I think our damage is fine. Especially with the rune that we got. We gotta watch out for, uh... Arms, though. See, ooh, 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 that huge chunk right there. See, 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 see. 98, 99, that huge chunk right there. <laughs> wow, level 99. Thank God I found a rune of destruction. Ugh, sheesh. Now I just gotta kill these top arms. Level 100, there we have it. But we still gotta finish up on Zakum though. So, okay, that went a little better than I thought. I went from 96 to 100 in, like, a snap like that in a minute. Uh, but, you know, like I said, fight's not over. Big boss is, uh... Dude has just begun. We'll go ahead and get it through. We'll see if we can get it through within the, rune, within the rune's duration. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Rune's dead, gone. <laughs> At least I got to the level I wanted to get to. So maybe normal Zakum will drop me a Zakum helmet. I'm not gonna leave the box just because I lost the rune. Normal Zakum dropped some good stuff. I'm not gonna end up losing. God. I'm not gonna end up losing my daily run. Are you kidding me? I just have to keep in mind about the potion cooldown as well. And then we have the. Oh, wait, toggles. Toggles. Oh my god. Uh, what is it? We have... So, basically, what normal Zakum can drop for us is... 50 reward points. I'll talk more about... Oh, God, no. I'm gonna die again. Do I have anything good to heal with? I got a power elixir. Use it. Ah, sheesh. Uh, so, anyway... It drops the boss crystal. For normal Zakum, it's around 600k. Um, which will put us at around 12 mil. Which I'm surprised we made over 10 mil in the first episode. So, as a newer player, I feel like that's not too bad. Um, but he can also drop the... Except... He can also drop the accessory set. Um, I'm just not paying attention. Clearly, this man is getting the best of me. We just gotta get through this phase fast. 
Um, but he drops the uh, boss accessory set, face or eye. I'm not really sure if we want to use them or sell them because I feel like boss accessory could go for quite a bit. Maybe we should use them or the first ones we get just for the sake of um, having something to Star Force and kind of help us out in the Star Force maps. Because I still want to be training till 150. 150 is going to be my stopping point to actually fund the character. Because that's, that's, you know, I'm going to need a breather sometime. And I'm choosing 150 to be that perfect breather. So before that, we'll just have to go ahead and do other things such as uh, actually using these boss accessories. So until 150, we're not going to be making much profit at all. Anyway, Zakum's almost dead. Finally, he goes into his last phase. I was getting sick and tired of that. Oh, wait. I was getting sick and tired of that stationary one. Uh, so we should be able to finish it off here. Damage is not too high, but it's fine. It's fine. Ah, there we go. No, <laughs> no helmet again. See, this game has something against me. I don't, I don't, I don't want your helmet anyway. What weapon did I even get? Oh, a dual bow gun. Not, not like I'm gonna pick that up. Forget it. Uh, no accessories either. Well, at least I'm level 100, right? I guess that's really all that matters, right? Um. Uh, fucking C Zach, come on. Um, fourth job, fourth job. Okay, so Rudy, I need to go to Rudy. Where is Rudy at? Uh, obviously Rudy's at the base. Um, so we use Promessa Escape. If you don't, in order to go over there. And then now we uh, do skill points. Let me just go ahead and put the rest of my second job skill points into Ion Thrust. And then my third job skill points into whatever the fuck, you know. Uh, gravity Pillar. And it's whatever. Actually, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure Gravity Pillar is literally non existent. Who the fuck would use Gravity Pillar? Um, so, anyways, Rudy, I need some slots. Some equipment slots. There we go. Fourth job. Got our medal. Even though we're using tots, the tots medal is much better. Uh, 25 stat. Just throw it all in luck. Um, and now we have fourth job skills. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and do the usual beam dance, mecha purge. We'll put mecha purge here. Beam dance on control and then the last one will go to probably hypogram field in which field I'd probably prefer using the purple one I like the purple one force field we'll put that on J as a cooldown 39 seconds all right so you want to put that on a quick slot all right So that's Snipe, it's Beam Dance, and then if you want a mob, we're probably going to use Laser. Not really sure in what case we'll be using the bombs for. Uh, for the most part, I'll just be using Laser to mob. Um, but, wow, that's about it. Um, if there's anything that you've learned that you want to do daily from this episode today, it's Normal Zakum. Make sure you run Normal Zakum every day no matter what. Reason being is because of reward points. I'm going to be going over the entire reward point shop in the next episode. Um, so I'm going to collect all the reward points that I got from this episode today. Ever since I started the character. And we got a total of... Uh, 190 reward points and in order to actually claim them you have to go to the cash shop and kind of settle in there for a little bit So yeah, that's gonna be it. Remember do your normal Zakam runs every day We'll learn more about some maybe a, some more daily factors in the next episode Probably get to only 110 or so because I want to talk about you know a couple more things here and there um, This is definitely going to be one of the longer episodes just because it's the introduction. There isn't really any actual 
funding tip in here it's just me kind of getting started the funding tips will slowly show up as i progress more in gms on this character but that's it i'm happy on level 100 now <laughs> it really it really means quite a bit to finally be done with it for now so it's about time the real game begins even though it doesn't necessarily begin till 200 but the real money making strats will eventually come here real soon if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe if you haven't that is if you want to i'll be bringing back some more great content to you guys later and i hope you guys enjoy this new series peace out everybody